Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habitifillah From Iman, from faith in Islam is to love the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam This is the second part of our shahada Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alayhi wa sallam So when we testify and the testify, testific, uh, testification of faith, the testimony of faith, that we bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad is his last messenger and servant. That a part of that testimony of faith, that testifying that the Prophet wasallam was the last prophet and messenger, and for us to enter into the, fo the fold of Islam, to enter into faith, is that we love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than everything and everyone in this this life and that we follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam his example his statements Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we love those whom he loves or he loves Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam like his Sahaba Radiallahu Ta'ala Majma'een the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the hadith of in the hadith of Abi Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu an Abi Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qaal fa walladhi bi nafsi bi yadihi la yu'minu ahadukum hatta akuna ahabba ilayhi min walidihi wa waladihi and then in another narration on, on Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the, the same uh, hadith. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, by him in whose hands my life is, none of you will have faith till he loves me more than his father and his children. Ahabat Allah that shows us the importance and that this is a part of Iman. The Prophet ﷺ negated Iman for the one who doesn't love him. And the one who doesn't love him more than he loves those others uh, in the world. That doesn't mean that they are disbeliever, but this shows that they're Iman Kamil. For example, if they have some other uh, love which is inhibiting their full love and loving the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam more than the rest of creation. And if they think others are have more right to be followed, then this is disbelief. Or they think that what others offer is better than what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam offered, then this is disbelief. So it's very important for the Muslim to understand and actualize the importance of loving the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the and the importance of following the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's not just lip service. It's not simply um, something that's fashionable because it's very fashionable and it's very in in many communities, everyone claims to follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and everyone claims to love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but yet they innovate in the religion of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the religion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are things which take from a person's faith. So it's imperative that we understand that from Iman from Iman is loving the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and loving him more than a person loves their own parents and loves their own children. And this can be actualized by following his sunnah. And this is actualized by loving those who he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved. Like the Sahabat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een Willow Kariel Kafirun, Willow Kariel Ahle Bida, Willow Kariel Mushfikun, Willow Kariel 
ahl ilhad walau kariyal ahl zandaqa and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.